attachment is part of it. A non-attachment, you know. Mm -hmm. what you are dependent upon another person mm -hmm. or a thing mm -hmm. or a situation for your happiness. That's okay, true. Okay, yeah. for your needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because we're spiritual beings and we can create through our thought and our feeling because we're children of, of, a, of a great creator, mm -hmm. we literally have the ability to create everything we could possibly ever want and more. Mm -hmm. And if we, and, and then that's when we can truly share something with somebody because we have much to give, as opposed to being needy and taking or being a vampire because we don't know how to do it. So, but, but because we identify with our human self mm -hmm. and not our spiritual self, mm -hmm. we think that we're very limited. And we don't have a whole lot, and so we, we have to take from others. Or most of us don't aren't, aren't cruel people or anything. So we but we have these conditions. I'll I'll I will give you love and affection, or or um, we'll have fun together and do things. But it, but you got to do the same thing back, or or give me what I need. You know, it's kind of a business deal. We don't we don't come together. Yeah. Um, we come together in 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 need in, in need. Uh, as opposed to coming together and sharing. Mm -hmm. The Aloha spirit says, the Polynesian, which is the ancient Lemurians, mm -hmm. they, the, they have Aloha spirit, which means I joyfully and lovingly come together in this present moment, mm -hmm. not the past or the future, but now, the eternal moment, okay. to share with you, to share my life's energy with you. Not that I need something or I'm going to take something, but so we can share our energy and build more energy, and then we can all feast upon it, and and we can begin to learn to touch each other and touch God and have God touch us, and um, that's that's where real love is, and that's where real identity is in letting the spirit guide you, mm -hmm. as opposed to letting your your human ideas guide you, mm -hmm. and the other part of it is. If you spiral down inside yourself and you find out what your patterns of behavior are in psychology, emotions and thoughts are, mm -hmm. you'll find out where your blocks are and your resistances are and your emotional problems are. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find, like I, 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 I spiral down inside and I wanted, wanted to know why my relationships weren't working. Mm -hmm. One time, lost love after lost love, great pain and great grief after great pain and grief and, mm -hmm. and loss. Mm -hmm. and, and I realized that I wasn't honoring other, the women in my life and, mm -hmm. uh, and other people in my life mm -hmm. fully and I wasn't making, being willing to make commitments to them. Mm. And too lot, to, and and well, I really I learned that parent I learned that pattern from my younger my younger life primarily watching my parents and the culture I was in, mm -hmm. and I realized that what I really wasn't doing I really wasn't honoring myself mm. my own needs I wasn't really being loving to myself and doing for myself what I needed to do for right. myself. Yeah. I wasn't making commitments to my own dreams and my own goals, mm -hmm. and I was living my life through other people, mm -hmm. vicariously. And, and and I was realizing that was because I didn't love myself, I didn't forgive myself, mm -hmm. I didn't honor myself, I didn't make commitments to myself. So that I and so I didn't, I couldn't do it to other people. Mm. And so I was attracting other people who weren't able to commit to me and who weren't able to give me. To, to, to really fully accept me mm -hmm. and fully um, honor me. Mm. Because life is a mirror. Mm -hmm. Life's a mirror. And life's a mirror because of the law of attraction, which, which says that we create through our thoughts and our feelings because that's our birthright as children. Mm, yes, a little bit, please. Because Thank that's you. our birthright as the children of God. Because mm -hmm. we're, little, we're little localized and individualized fragments of God. Yeah. He made us from his heart. We're his children. And he grows the universe by growing us. Mm. And, and we learn through our experiences. Mm -hmm. And our, we create through our desires. Mm -hmm. And any loving, creative thought or feeling is a, is a, is a, is a, is a worthwhile desire. Mm -hmm. That's un uniquely and individually a part of God. 
creative process, you said? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn to love ourselves. Yeah. So we're in the process of learning to, learning unconditional love yeah. by being around other people who aren't, who don't know how to love you. And so you learn what you don't want. Yes. And then by learning that you want you want a more a more fully accepting and total, total love where it's not without all these conditions, mm -hmm. somebody can really give themselves to you. Mm -hmm. not, but what that really means is somebody who knows how to love themselves mm -hmm. fully and deeply mm -hmm. and enjoys life fully because of it, because they're connected to everything around them mm -hmm. deeply, mm -hmm. and then they can share that with you. And, and they have they have made a commitment to a relationship with God. And they have made a commitment to a relationship with themselves, and they're, they're, they know how, and they're learning how to do that really in a creative, positive, loving way. And that means that they now know how to do that with another person, <coughs> with you. Right. I do you see want honey people. Uh, a little bit, please. Yeah. Honey? Yeah. Thanks. I got no. Thank you, Master. And so <laughs> we're learning about unconditional love by yeah. this fellow. Oh, yeah. Tell me about that. Okay. But I am. Um, We go through loss hmm. so that we can learn about what we want, really want. Mm -hmm. But it's it's all a process of learning to manifest and create, um, and we're stuck. Hmm. We don't know how to get beyond certain points in our creative process, and so we're we're having these failures mm -hmm. and challenges. Mm -hmm and our life isn't fulfilling and I suggest I suggest first going within yourself yeah and going trying to spiral down to the core uh -huh. to your core yeah and finding out why you're not forgiving yourself yeah finding out why you're not loving yourself yes finding out what how how, how would a loving being mm -hmm. how would you as a loving being treat mm -hmm. yourself lovingly yes and why? Uh, say that again, please. How would you, as a loving being, uh -huh. treat yourself as a loving being? Right. If you don't treat yourself as a loving being, yes, and learn what that means, how can you do it to anyone else? If you really don't know how to get in touch with your own energy and know yourself and take the time to do it, how can you really do that with another person and get to know them and to honor them, to really love them? Without, without conditions. It's like uh, it's like you're talking about magic and then not believing it. It's like if we are just talking about it and not the... Uh... And a lot of it is self-identity. Huh? A lot of it is self-identity. It's an identity yeah. crisis. Identity crisis. That's the core of the issue because Yay. if I ident identify with myself as a, as a smart animal, and, and, and just a just a human body uh -huh. with a little some, some intelligence but not a lot. Yes. Then I'm gonna feel pretty limit, limited. And Thank I'm be you focused. so much. And there's banana bread. This is a million dollar coffee. Thank of you, Sandy. Sandy, banana yeah, cake. Yeah, go do something nice for Sandy. The... Yes, look at the oh, that cream. smells so sweet. That's yeah, the first time she's ever come over here. Huh? You got any creamer? Huh?